Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for the last few days, guys, I was going crazy because everybody is talking about FSR and fluid motion from AMD, and I really wanted to make it work for myself. So I've got the demo of Forspoken. So by the way, you don't need to buy this game. You can try this for free. There's a free demo on Steam. So I've got the demo. I tried everything, and at first, like, oh, it looks amazing. I've got 120 FPS at 4K. Wow, this is so cool. But then I started with like you know playing with that and it's something didn't feel right like sometimes it feels okay but sometimes it feels horrible like worse than without everything and look at the frame time on, on the right we see this thick line like a lot of people said oh this is fine it's just after button cannot read those fake frames properly so it gives this fat line but don't worry it, that's how it should be but for me that's the problem it feels exactly like that like a lot of micro stutter like the frames are not properly aligned and look at the left it's micro stutter rate 100 percent like it felt something is not right and especially when i go to settings and i switch the frame generation off and 120 so i have less fps now but it feels better and actually looks better as well because there is like less motion bl blur so and i was thinking am i going crazy i do something wrong or i have different perception of the same thing so i, I went online and i was checking other guys and for example vex i really like this guy and he's super happy with that it it made me even more crazy because if so many people are so happy i want to be happy as well i want to free performance but i don't get free performance i get worse performance so what's going on and i was checking more guys like daniel Owen, also quite happy with that so everybody's happy but then i've checked more and more and more information and look at this guy so he's got nice benchmarks nice comparison look frame time here and frame time here choppy with 100 percent micro stutter here zero percent and for different games different games the same starfield nice and flat choppy 100 percent zero percent and the same for cyberpunk flat choppy 100 percent zero percent and that you know made me even more crazy and finally finally uh digital foundry and hardware unbox done some like proper testing with like expensive tools and they confirmed what i thought the frame pacing frame time is wrong free since doesn't work with uh, frame generation at the moment and for many people it's gonna give worse performance than native less frames like 60 fps like for me 60 fps feels better than 120 fps with the frame generation and not for everybody it depends i think depends of the screen and if you reach the limit of your screen and how the vsense works for you so for some people maybe it feels better but for me it doesn't feel better at best it feels the same but definitely not better I, most of the time for me it feels worse and there's two problems with that as well because i tested on a gamepad on a controller and on a mouse like on a controller for me 60 fps is my sweet spot i don't need any more because it's like 60 fps is perfect anymore it looks maybe a slightly better but it doesn't feel any better input lag doesn't matter because that's how controller works that's how console players can play actually on 30 fps because it's different feeling on a mouse i need 120 fps to feel good but with these choppy frames it feels worse so i don't know what it, for who is for this frame generation and i really wanted to like it because i want free performance i want to flex 120 fps on a forum on reddit on steam but i can't because i don't like it so guys yeah i think i just need to wait i just need to wait when they fix it when amd fix it and it's gonna work with uh g scenes free scenes vrr and then i will be super happy but at the moment well i'm still happy but i will wait for this frame generation so let me know in the comments below what you think about this have you tried uh, are you waiting for that or is it just another gimmick and it will inspire developers to optimize games even worse so don't forget to like subscribe and thank you for watching